Hey everybody, Darlington Farm here. This week I got $100 worth of aluminum off eBay and we are going to make a set of jaws for a Scotchman cold saw that I bought. My plan here is I'm gonna take the milling machine and mill out sort of a round slot down the middle of these to be able to use it to cut tubing, try and make them a little more versatile. And then we're gonna take them over to the shaper and then we're gonna cut some knurling or some grooves in this at different angles and see how that works. I don't know how that's going to work, but I've been having a thought of maybe doing that. So we're going to try that. So this is a 40 taper machine. What that means is you have a tool holder here that has a tapered shank on it and then it goes up into a socket that's also tapered. Then you have a draw bar here that's threaded that threads into the top of that tool holder and then you just snug it up with a wrench and that holds it nice and tight in there. So that's about half an inch deep. I think that's going to be enough to where if I want to cut a piece of square tubing vertically like this for mitering it, or if I want to cut a piece of round stock like that, I think that should be good. All right, so I think we're going to try and cut this crosshatch pattern on the shaper. Uh, so if you've never seen a shaper, uh, go check out abom 79s videos. He's got some really awesome videos on a shaper. This is a 20 inch g &E, and I have a tool bit in here that is what you would use on a lathe for cutting threads uh, around a cylinder. Uh, and what I'm thinking I'm going to do is just set the step over. So what this does is it reciprocates back and forth like this, and then you can set how far over the table moves each stroke. So what I'm thinking I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set my vise like this at 45 degrees relative to the cutting action. And I'm thinking I'm just gonna set the step over as high as it goes and just take some cuts out of it like that with this bit. That's my theory. I don't know how it's gonna work. Let's give it a try.
Boy, that is just a beautiful cut. So now we can go ahead and put our cap head screws in there and stick this in. Oh, that is so cool. Now I got a nice perfectly, now I have a nice perfectly cut edge on that. That's awesome. Really happy with the way that knurling turned out. I guess it's not knurling, but how those grooves turned out. I think that'll keep chips and stuff from holding material. And then I really like that groove there. That'll be really nice for cutting square tubing like that or round stock. So I'm excited to put this to some use. I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video. If there are other shop projects uh, that you'd like to see, please leave a comment down below. And uh, once again, hit that subscribe button. And uh, yeah, tell your friends, hit that uh, bell thingy so you get notified when I make a video. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed and learned something. Samosas, I love these. They're like crack. Mmm. Oh, really good. What was I talking about again? I don't even remember. I'm just having some tasty Girl Scout cookies here. Mmm. Something about metal and... Cheerios, I don't know.